Only on two, just days before the start of school, nearly 50 teachers and staff in far north suburban Zion handed in their resignations. As CBS 2's Charlie DeMa reports, only on two, some former educators in that very district called the teaching environment toxic. My heart is in Zion. My heart is with the community. Valerie Lampion retired from Zion Elementary District 6 last year, teaching for more than 30 years. During my time there, it's always been a very close district, close staff, um, really feels like a family. But Lampion and Lynn Butera, who's also retired, are concerned after at least 48 teachers, support staff, and office employees called it quits. Their resignations accepted at a board meeting Monday, just days before the start of school. It's about the climate and culture, and the climate and culture has become very toxic. The school district says the resignations are part of the ebb and flow of staffing, but these retired educators say the administration has created a tough working environment. Some of the current teachers we spoke to declining to go on camera. They're very nervous, they're very stressed out, um, they're very worried, and it's really worried about the kids and worried about will there be enough supports in place. The district says Monday our core instructional classrooms will be staffed and ready with certified teachers, but the resignations raising questions for some parents. It's a little unfortunate, but I hope that they get more workers, more teachers there, and get more people on the team. As for any possible tension between administration and staff, a spokeswoman says they are making an effort to improve our culture of teaching and learning and drive student achievement. They're lacking that support. They're lacking that family feel. They're lacking um, being able to get the job done. The president of the union representing teachers here in Zion says they are deeply concerned by these resignations, adding that their goal is to not only attract qualified and talented teachers, but also keep them. In Zion, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News.